Hello again, and welcome back. In this um, particular little video, I'm going to uh, go on about waypoints some more because I enjoyed it so much last time. Um, I'm basically going to give, do my best to give an example of what each waypoint type does. Um, and the first on the list is the move waypoint. You can see I've got my mouse over there now. The highlighted unit will go to that particular point depending on placement and completion radiuses. Well, let's get on with it. The next um, waypoint we're looking at here is uh, a destroy waypoint. As you can see, I have put it over a vehicle and the unit here will do its best to destroy that vehicle. Um, if it cannot it will just move there. Um, it's pretty simple. And the next type of waypoint we're dealing with is destroy. I've put a destroy waypoint on that uh, tank there. And, well, this waypoint type works best when it's attached to an object. As you can see, the group will attempt to destroy whatever object it's placed upon, being the tank. And if the group is an able to destroy it, then they will simply move to within, to within range of being able to identify the object and then wait until it's destroyed even if the target is not destroyable. If the waypoint is far away from the far away from any mission editor placed objects, the waypoint will generally be instantly complete considered complete without a group moving towards the waypoint's location. Now I think what is that what that is to say is if it's just placed out like that, then the group are not actually on anything, the group just will not bother with it. Bring on the next waypoint type. The next waypoint we're going to be dealing with is get in. And to give you a very, very uh, quick definition is this just tells the group to get in an empty vehicle. Now, if there are other conditions that um, you could place this uh, waypoint under, because you can get um, groups to get in vehicles that belong to other groups, but um, there's an awful lot of that, and I think there's a website that I can put down in the description that will give you a full list of just how this works, but basically it just tells them to get in a vehicle. Um, I'm quite sure that with this particular waypoint, um, if you just place it near the vehicle and not directly on a vehicle, then the, un the group will move to there and get in any vehicles nearby. Incidentally, um, if like me you've placed the waypoint on top of the vehicle and you want to get at the vehicle, hold shift and that gives you access to the vehicle. Next waypoint. As you can see we have a little man by a town. His waypoint is to seek and destroy. And basically, um, this is another one of those does what it says on the tin. Uh, waypoints, but um, let's go through it in a little detail, just to be sure. It doesn't particularly matter whether you place it on an object or just place it there. Um, the group will move to the waypoint, then the leader will move about and search the immediate area with his group trying to keep up the exact size of the area. Search is limited to the, the, the leader's expected travel time. Of course, this travel time will differ. If a tank seeking and destroying it will cover the wider area, and if a helicopter will cover a wider area again. Um, the searchers will attempt to visually check all locations within the selected area. Um, so, big completion radiuses on these type, I think. And um, 
Yes, they will go in and they will just look along, look everywhere, really, and try and kill all the enemies. Um, the actual um, travel distances that they will go is um, for the nymph for the leader on foot will rarely search more than 50 meters from the waypoint, while a leader in a helicopter will search 300 meters from the waypoint. So that's just a little bit more in depth. Um, granted, seen as they are visually checking the area, if I had this out in a field here, it wouldn't take very long for them to visually check it, because fields are great big wide open places. But if I have it in a town like this, then they are going to, um, you know, it's going to take them longer. And 50, let's change that to 50. See, that's roughly how far out they will check, according to my information. Next waypoint. And now we are back doing the join waypoint type. I have two examples for this. Um, in this example, I am following this squad leader here. And we basically move to this bloke because it is attached to him and we join him. But that isn't always the best way of doing things, because if that bloke moves, if he had a waypoint of his own, we would simply treat that as a move waypoint and we'd go there and we wouldn't join him. This is the way to do it if they have waypoints of their own. For example, this squad leader here has his little patrol, and I want these two to join him on the way, so what I do is I can have him have a join waypoint, by their waypoint and I synchronize the two together. So when they get to their waypoint and I get to mine, we'll join and we'll all carry on along this little patrol. Simple stuff, eh? And now we're back again. And this time we're doing the join and lead, which is basically exactly the same as the join waypoint, except for instead of me coming over here and joining and being led by this bloke, I am now leading him. It doesn't... And this ignores rank, by the way, because I've set these guys at very high ranks, and um, it goes by waypoints. And the same here. If I was this rifleman, I'd go to this waypoint, and I would lead all those guys, even if they were higher ranks than me. We're finally getting somewhere with this uh, definition of waypoints, aren't we? Now we're going to be looking at get out waypoints. I have a squad here. They are all set to be in cargo of this bigger transport. The leader has put a group waypoint to get out here. The vehicle will travel there and everyone, including the drivers, will get out. It really is that simple. The next type of waypoint I'm going to show you here is a cycle waypoint. And um, this fire team is going to move up, move along, down, and to the cycle waypoint. And the cycle waypoint um, changes the group's active waypoint to the nearest waypoint other than the previous waypoint. Note that the uh, leader's initial position seen on the mission editor is considered as a move type. So he would move up, along, down, get move to the cycle point, then move to where he was spawned, and then carry on through the waypoints. Useful for creating a patrol, but if you want to break that and say I wanted him to move out here and carry on with some other waypoints, I would need to do a switch trigger. Um, I will attempt to cover that either in a later video or the video I am going to do on triggers. Our next waypoint type is load. Let me show you. We have a fire team and we have an off-road that is set to... Well, these are all set to be in formation and this is not, so it will spawn there. Um, and basically, the load waypoint makes the group move to the waypoint, and then any soldiers on foot will board any vehicles that the group possesses, which is why I've grouped this car 
to them. And they'll just move there and then the leader will give the command to board that vehicle. Fairly simple, fairly useful.